Rusty was originally planned to be the main character, but he was eventually replaced by Bluey. Rusty and Mackenzie are the oldest characters in Bluey's friend group, with their first known appearance being in the 2016 pilot for the show. In some episodes, Mackenzie was accidentally labeled as a girl in the Latin American dub of the show. The first episode of Bluey to air was the episode Magic Xylophone, which premiered on October 1st, 2018. However, if you're American, your answer might be different, as the first Bluey episode to premiere in the US was actually Keepy Uppy, which aired on Disney Junior in September of 2019. If you pause the episode Hairdressers at the exact correct time when Bandit's in the shower, you can see this horrific monstrosity. The character Socks is seen walking on all fours until season two, when she is able to walk starting in the episode Christmas Swim. However, an upright rig of her was created for the episode Backpackers. This was so she can have proper hands to hold on to Chili throughout the whole episode. The lowest rated episode on IMDb is the season three episode Magic, which as of making this, has a super low, absolutely abysmal, and earth-shattering rating of... 7.3. That's actually not bad if I'm being honest. However, for those who are wondering what the highest rated episode is, it's sleepy time. Not really surprised because that episode is pretty good if I must say so myself. When Uncle Rad comes to visit in the episode Double Babysitter, he parks his car on the grass because that's radical, I guess? Also, while Uncle Rad's main debut was in Double Babysitter, he first appeared in a painting in the episode Charades, albeit with a different design. The Bluey characters often get their last names from their dog breed, such as Bluey Healer being named after the Blue Healer, and Miss Retriever being named after the Golden Retriever. Bandit also refers to Mackenzie's family as the Border Collies in the episode Curry Quest. Also, by the way, Bluey's middle name is actually Christine, as revealed in the episode Family Meeting. Yes, Bluey Christine Healer. In the episode The Quiet Game, the dollar buck Bluey gets in the episode Markets can be seen being spent by Busker who, if you don't know, is actually based on the main composer of the show, Joff Bush. In fact, speaking of the dollar bucks, it was actually based on a note used in Australia at the time, including a depiction of the late Queen Elizabeth II, who was of course portrayed as a corgi. And based on a plate seen in the episode Granny Mobile, Princess Diana and Prince Charles also exist. So going by this logic, King Charles III is also probably canon to the Bluey universe. The character Rocco works with Bubbles, as seen in the episode Markets. Many viewers mistook Mackenzie's dad for being named Fozzie. This was because of a scene in which Bandit yells out Mozzie next to him, thinking a mosquito was trying to get him. <laughs> ah, Fozzie! Mozzie, by the way, is basically just Aussie slang for a mosquito. Speaking of misconceptions, many often believe that Chili stole a pair of sunglasses in the episode Road Trip. This was because she was seen pulling them on, but quickly taken away before she can pay for them. However, she is seen holding her credit card, which implies that she may have already purchased them. Or at least hopefully. Muffin's tail clips in the episode Muffin Cone. A red and altered version of the character Uncle Stripe can be seen in the background of the episode Bob Bilby. Chili's brown spot is on the wrong side of her face on the Shadowlands board game. When Uncle Stripe visits the healer's house, he calls Chili with the nickname Chili Dog. Ha, get it? On the box of the Bluey and Bingo table set, part of Bandit's nose wasn't colored in for some odd reason. As of now, Judo's description on the official Bluey website is only three words long, making it one of the shortest bios on the website. However, she doesn't even have the shortest one, as Coco has a description with only two words. In an early picture of the show when it was still being developed, Chili appears to be pregnant, which implies that Bluey and Bingo originally were supposed to have another sibling. 
It is common practice for character models and rigs to be reused for other characters, with bandits being used for Grubber's dad, the cricket player in the episode The Weeknd, and this character waiting for the bus in the episode Wagon Ride. The character Pat has also been reused, most notably for the character Fido and John Luke's dad. Also, speaking of John Luke, he is not actually French, but specifically French-Canadian. The asparagus from the episode Magic Asparagus was made into a light-up toy sold exclusively at the live show, Bluey's Big Play. In the episode Handstand, Muffin, Socks, and Leela are notably absent, despite their close relationship with Bingo. However, in a post online, it is revealed that the characters were off-camera watching TV the whole time. The Healer 4-Wheel Drive Family Vehicle Toy comes with a pack of stickers. This is so you can stage a mess in the back of the car, making it identical to its appearance in the show. In the animated short Archaeology, it is revealed that Bandit has a PhD, meaning that he officially goes by the title, Dr. Bandit Healer. Also in this short, it is shown that he also works with Marcus, who was the father of the character Honey. And finally, this short also confirms that the characters evolved from cave dogs, and basically had a similar evolution to us. Also, in the season 3 episode Sheepdog, Bandit tried to rock a mullet. Sadly, however, it was cut off by the end of the episode. In the episodes Bumpy and the Wisehold Wolfhound and Baby Race, two separate doctors are present in each episode, but are often mixed up due to their similar appearances. The Greyhound Nurse, seen in Bumpy and the Wise Old Wolfhound, can also be seen in the episode Dance Mode, where she is visibly confused and annoyed by Bandit's dancing. A plush version of the character Sans from Undertale can be seen in the episode Sleepover, and even a plush of the mushroom from Vine Sauce can be seen in some episodes. The train scene in the episode Road Trip is based on the NGR, which stands for New Generation Rolling Stock, a train class used by Queensland Rail. On the back of the takeaway playset, a bandit figure covered in food can be seen. However, the actual playset itself only has a standard, perfectly normal bandit figure, which is kind of a disappointment if you ask me. For the Bluey School playset, some packages advertise that the set has 10 pieces, while others insist that it only has 9. However, to my knowledge, the actual difference on these playsets is pretty limited, if practically non-existent. Especially assuming that those little paper props they use actually count as pieces. On Chili's watch in the episode The Weeknd, an image parodying the album cover of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon can be seen. In the episode Movies, a trailer for a film coming out in 2020 plays. This seems to imply that the show, or at least season 2, takes place during 2020 or sometime shortly before. Also in the episode, a character resembling Winton's father can be seen on a poster, which may imply that his dad may or may not be a famous actor. The design of Bingo Stuffed Animal Floppy is completely different in the episode Sleepy Time compared to its previous appearances in episodes such as Chicken Rat. For the episode Hospital, there were two completely different versions of the title card made, with one saying Hospital and another saying Hospitals. Although the occasion isn't as celebrated in Australia as it is in the US, Bluey still does make Halloween merchandise, often using the name Healerween. It is often accepted by fans that Bandit was born in or around 1978. While still debatable, this is because he was 10 years old during the events of the episode Fairy Tale, where a reference to an album from 1988 can be seen. Also in this episode, it is revealed that he is actually the middle child, with Stripe being younger and Rad being the oldest. This surprised many as before this, many assumed Rad was actually the youngest, citing his younger appearance and energetic personality. In a playset for the Bluey Camper, a map with locations from the show misspelled the name of Bluey's house, referring to it as the Healer's House. This was eventually fixed in other copies of the set. 
According to an article by realestate.com, Louis's house would be worth around $4 million if it was real. Also, a real version of the house was actually built, using an existing property with a fully decorated exterior and interior to match the show. Sadly, however, it was only temporary, and used as a collab with the rental company Airbnb. In the Season 2 episode, Army, Bluey and Chloe can be seen playing Adventure, which also got its own episode in Season 1. Also, Jack is the only character to have a first and last name based on a dog breed, with Jack Russell being based on a... well, Jack Russell. I'm also willing to bet that his middle name is Terrier because that would complete the full name, but that might be a little bit of a stretch. Mackenzie's mom was originally drawn with brown fur around only one of her eyes, but starting in season 3, this was later changed to have brown fur around both of them. Bluey's favorite color is surprisingly not blue, but yellow, at least when it comes to capsicums. Can I have some yellow capsicum? Yellow's my favorite color capsicum. <sighs> Speaking of capsicums, in the Disney release of the episode Barbecue, all the instances of the character saying capsicums were changed to peppers. Meanwhile, Bingo's favorite color is actually blue. Hmm, what's your favorite color? Blue, like you! During the episode Sleepy Time, an American flag can be seen on the moon, being an obvious reference to the moon landing. In the episode The Quiet Game, a book based on the episode Fruit Bat can be seen, which is a real book you can actually buy as well. This also seems to imply that Bluey merch exists in the Bluey universe? That's kind of crazy if you think about it. And finally, the most important fact of them all, Batman is mentioned in the holiday short Jingle Bells. This implies that Batman, fictional or real, exists in some form in the Bluey universe. Mind blown. What? No! So there you have it. A compilation of random, nonsensical, and overall completely unimportant Bluey information. Now that's not to say that these facts aren't interesting or stuff fans shouldn't know. However, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this kinda quick, pretty silly video. I do have some bigger projects in mind for now, but I thought it would be more fun to wind down for a little and just kinda create something a bit more simple as I take some time to get myself together. But until next time, BNB Productions will be signing out. Have a nice day everyone, and I'll see you soon. Uh, hopefully. Bye everyone. So for today's art of the day, we have this amazing drawing by user RostedPomi23, also known as Picker Biscuit on Twitter. They've made a lot of fan art for me and have been asking to be featured for a while, so here you go. Make sure to go support them, and thank you, thank you so much for the art. <laughs>